You'll fly a route in your nav system that simulates the canyon. The faster you navigate this canyon, the harder it will be to stay under the radar of these enemy SAMs. The tighter the turns, the more intensely the force of gravity on your body multiplies, compressing your lungs, forcing the blood from your brain, impairing your judgment and reaction time. So for today's lesson, we're going to take it easy on you. Max ceiling, 300 feet. Time to target three minutes. Good luck. Time to target is one minute 30. We are two seconds behind. Increase to 480 knots. We gotta move, Coyote. Copy, increase the speed. Oh, oh shit. Why are they dead? We broke the 300-foot ceiling. Now Sam took us out. No. Why were they dead? I slowed down and I didn't give her a warning. It's my fault. Was there a reason you didn't communicate with your team? I was focusing on... One that their family will accept at the funeral. None, sir. Why didn't you anticipate the turn? You were briefed on the terrain. Don't tell me. Tell him to his family. Hey, man, he's up. The canyon's getting tighter. Negative payback. Increase your speed. You're going too fast, man. Well, no harm in being ahead of schedule. Damn it, slow down. I can't stay on the course. Ah, you're gonna hit the wall! Watch out, watch out, watch out! What happened? Well, I flew as fast as I could. Kind of like my ass depended on it. And you put your team in danger and your wingman's dead. They couldn't keep up. Rooster, we're 20 seconds behind and drop it! We're fine. Speed is good. Increase to 500 knots. Negative, Yale. Hold your speed. Rooster, we're late. We're alive. We'll make up time in the straightaway. We are not gonna make it. Just trust me. Maintain your speed. We can make it. Why are you dead? Your team leader up there. Why are you, why is your team dead? Sir, he's the only one who made it to the target. A minute late. He gave enemy aircraft time to shoot him down. He is dead.